All right, guys, so today we're talking about our yearly rant and rave about AutoZone O'Reilly's. We don't deal with advanced auto parts too much or Napa too much, but the two main ones, AutoZone and O'Reilly's auto parts. We had a lot of issue this year. So we went there maybe, I think realistically four times the whole year. Um, I would say two or three of those times were just only for spark plugs. And we, we don't buy any of our oil there. We buy all our oil at Walmart. There's no difference between AutoZone or Riley's Oil and Walmart. It's all the same stuff. Um, we could buy Mobile One there, ten dollars a five quart jug cheaper than we can AutoZone or Riley's. Um, everything, you know, we don't buy batteries there. The batteries are one fifty, two hundred bucks a piece. We could buy them at Walmart for fifty nine. We could buy them at our local farm store. Actual. Uh, what brand was that battery? I can't remember. Champion brand battery or something. It was actually a name brand. It was 62 for a battery. So we snagged a couple of those the size we needed. It seemed like usually that's a lot less hassle also. Um, there was no Everlast or whatever the knockoff brands are. None of that at all. And we had it run back there this past weekend. We're working on the yellow Porsche that's behind me and we needed a clutch safe slave cylinder. So I went on the website, you know, it's a holiday season, shipping's weird right now. I didn't want to roll the dice. I wanted something within the next few days, not the next few weeks. So instead of ordering the slave cylinder off Amazon or eBay as I usually would do, uh, I went, I drove 40 minutes to AutoZone actually to O'Reilly's first, they couldn't get it. AutoZone had to order it. And we ended up with a Duralast slave cylinder. However, before I left the house, I took a screenshot of it on my phone. So he had everything he needed to get the part. However, instead of a slave cylinder, little did I know that he ordered a, mass, a clutch master cylinder that goes up by the pedal. So we waited three days. We got a car stuck on the lift this whole time. And I thought, well, it's time to go pick it up. Let's go grab it. He put it in my hand. I said, what's this? It's the clutch slave cylinder. I said, no, this is the master cylinder. Had no idea there was a difference. Uh, it kind of goes back to at, all, at those parts stores, they just hire anybody. You don't have to know anything. They prefer you not know anything. You sell more parts that way, right? And... So I flung it on the counter. I said, dude, now we're in deep shit because now we've got a, a car stuck on the lift for hard telling how long. I'll order the other one today. So I didn't realize when I ordered this thing, the one I had on my phone was $35. The one he had ordered was $100. And until I got home that night when I first ordered it, I realized that was a difference. So I said, well, that's why the price is different. It's not the right part. So he refunded it back to my card, had to rerun my card again to purchased the $35 one. And it's the Duralast. Duralast, if you don't know, is made in China. Value Craft, Duralast, all that stuff, all Chinese stuff. And, you know, that's the, the situation you got. So we end up with a Chinese $35 slave cylinder. Will it work? I mean, stuff like that, it'll probably be okay. Um, the original slave cylinder was about 200 bucks. And when we're putting the clutch in, we were careful putting the slave cylinder in, but it jumped out of the little thumb hole in the uh, throw-up bearing arm and jumped up above and blew the cylinder out. That's why we needed a new one to start with. So just go to show you, the very few times I walk in that place, it's always some kind of drama, it's always some kind of disappointment. And one of my old videos, a guy commented, oh, you know, it's just, uh, what are you gonna do if you break down and there's no, you know, it's on a weekend. Where are you going to get parts? You have to go to AutoZone. I don't because they're not going to have anything for my stuff anyway. If you drive Ford, Chevy, Dodge, they're going to have stuff for it maybe. They're going to have some Chinese parts you could throw on there and maybe cobble it along a little bit longer. But chances are they're not going to have that. You're going to have to order anyway. It really is a shame that Amazon kind of totally did away with Prime. Uh, if you're still in the city, you can still get Prime. You use Prime. For us, we used to get stuff in one to two days. Now it takes about a week to get it. And uh, you have noticed a little decline on Amazon on stuff people's listing since that went away. And 
you do have to also be careful on Amazon and eBay. You have to make sure you buy a legit part and not a Chinese clone. You have to watch out for that no matter where you get stuff at. Whether it's AutoZone, O'Reilly's, FEC Euro. You see, you got to be very cautious of buying stuff anywhere anymore uh, and not have an issue with it being a Chinese clone. Because a lot of times the supplier you're getting from doesn't know, right? It looks the same. Everything is the same. It smells the same. You know, it, it's identical part. It just doesn't work. And with companies now, Bear, Hella, uh, I think even Bosch is making stuff in also Slovenia, Slovakia, uh, Germany, but also they're making a lot of this stuff now in China. Does that make it better or worse? Probably worse. There's less reg regulations there um, and things like that. So be very aware. There is no safe place to buy anything anymore. That's a thing of the past that went away a few years ago. And hopefully it gets fixed, but the direction everything's heading is only going to get worse from here on out. There's one other thing I want to add to this. And uh, we shot this video. I went and sat in my computer, and I'm like, i got to talk about this. Alternators and starters at AutoZone O'Reilly's. My God, where do we start with this? So behind me, you see this 911 sitting here. Um, there's been an ongoing situation with Bosch or any name brand alternator or starter where it'll say, uh, eBay's the same way about this crap, Genuine Bosch. Then down below somewhere, it'll say remanufactured. What it is, is remanufactured with Chinese parts. So it won't work. So they'll charge you more for a Bosch casing and then it doesn't work. So cars like this that the starter is nearly impossible to get to, we just engine out this car. If you watch the Porsche channel, Nathan's Porsche Workshop, go check it out, link in the description. Um, that's impossible to get to when the engine in the car. So when we had the engine out, we noticed the starter was hanging out a little bit and we went to uh, AutoZone O'Reilly's websites. I thought, well, let me see if they have one locally that's new, like new, new Bosch or whatever. Let's try to get a legit one locally. You could get that. It was like $444, right? The one looks just like it. That was a Bosch reman, but it barely said that was about 200 bucks. Okay, so I get on, where do we get this, Amazon or eBay? eBay, I think. Uh, we go buy a genuine Bosch from the actual Bosch store on there, and it's like 220 bucks. So they're charging you the same price for a Chinese rebuild than what an actual real one costs from an actual legit place. You know, there's that to add to it. Alternators are the same exact way how many people we had reason the neighbor even said that I just put an alternator on my truck, but it's making noise. I said, well, is it a reman? It's from AutoZone. Is it a reman or is it, um, a, a legit OEM? I don't remember what the, what brand that was of a Chevy. Anyhow, not important. Kind of find out whatever it is. So let me go look at it. The bearings going out in it. Open the hood right there on the side is a reman sticker. Actually, it didn't say reman anymore on it. It was just like a little white sticker. I said, well, that's a sticker they stamp reman on. It's a reman. It's junk. You can tell by looking at it. And it was junk. So be very warned. Be aware of that. And if you want to do the job two or three times, don't go there. You might be able to order OEM. You're going to pay double or triple the price. Beware. Don't say I didn't warn you. That's it.